I'm up and out on my mountain bike today, exploring some of the single track in southwest England. That's right, we're up at the Lanhydrock Trail Centre in mighty Cornwall. Let's get riding. Lanhydrock is a compact trail centre with seven trails. A green family trail, four blue trails of different lengths and difficulties, a short red section and a skills area. All the trails here are within about 10 minutes of each other and they can be ridden in a pretty short duration. So Lanhydrock is the perfect trail centre if you're after a quick ride or if you're just passing through. The centre has plenty of parking, trail maps, a cafe, toilets and even a cycle hire. So there's everything you need for a visit. Just off the car park is the skills area. This route is actually a lot of fun. I ended up riding it quite a few times before heading on to the other trails. It has plenty of rock gardens to test your metal. Some small drops, jumps, rollers, berms, a skinny, a pump section, and some small step ups. This is a well designed and fun area perfect for honing your skills before hitting the trails. After absolutely mastering the skills area, we headed over to the northernmost routes called Basley's and Walters Trails. Basley's Trail is a good warm up route. There are no real technical features and it's pretty flat. At some points, there are passing places to overtake slower riders because this trail is regularly used and well suited to more novice riders. Walters Trail can be described in a similar ilk as Basley's. It has steeper gradients, but nothing too technical. Depending on your speed and ability, Basley's Trail can be completed in about 10 to 15 minutes and Walters Trail in about five. Moving to the other group of routes, I dropped into the Timber Trail. This is one of the longer sections here and still only takes about 10 minutes to complete. It happens to be one of the more technical trails and definitely the most fun. Essentially split into two halves, the first part is a more flowing with long sweeping berms and gentle turns. Separating the two sections is a long and very fast transition. It's really good to go fast, but it's a bit of a shame that this part of the trail isn't very interesting. Heading into the second half, there are a series of steep and tight snaking corners, with a couple of optional drops thrown in between. The corners in this part of the section are bermed, allowing you to take them as fast as you're comfortable. Although the surface of the route is really loose and stony, this means that it's easy to slide out and would certainly not be fun if you fell on it. Back up at the trailhead, I dropped into the Hart Trail. This is a nice flowing blue section suitable for all riders. It takes approximately two minutes from top to bottom and has nothing too technical to catch you out. Like the upper section of the previous trail, there are some flowing bermed corners that lead nicely one onto the other. It's a really good trail to help you work on your body positioning as you move the bike from one corner to the next. 
Although there's nothing too technical, this was actually a really fun room. The surface on the bottom half of this trail is more compact than the looser top section. This means that you can take things a bit faster and be more confident on your bike. The views from this part of the woods are also really good, however you don't really get much chance to appreciate it. Once again, heading back up to the trailhead, it was time to check out the red section. The Saw Pit is a dual slalom course where two riders can ride side by side, great for practicing racing or just to settle a score between mates. The downhill part consists of multiple repetitions of a couple of rollers with some 90 degree burned corners. The route lasts for just under a minute so it's really short but only takes about two minutes to ride back up to the start. When I visited Landhydrock, some of the features seemed a bit unloved and in need of attention to really maximise the route's potential. That being said, it is early winter and the routes have had a whole season of being ridden on, so they're probably in their worst condition at the moment. So that's an overview of the trails at Landhydrock, and although short, the routes like the Timber Trail really do pack a punch. If you're looking to make more of a day of it, then you'll be pleased to know that the larger trail centre at Cardinal Woods is less than 10 minutes drive away. Check out my video for exactly what's on offer there. So that's it for now, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.